How do you save as a PDF from Photoshop? Well, I've set up this absolutely stellar document to show you just that. We have some layers in here, and that's going to be important because I'm going to show you some options in the PDF Save options. But if we go up to File, down to Save As, you can also do Save As Copy. Save As. Inside of the Save As menu, we're going to see Format. And we switch this to Photoshop PDF. Once we have that, we can name it name and then once we hit save it's going to take us to the pdf window which tells us this could override our save as dialog box settings one of those settings would be to keep the layers in the document and that same settings here under options so this is kind of one of the more important things here if you want to preserve the photoshop editing capabilities yes you can keep layers within the pdf and open it back up you have this check marked. That's going to substantially potentially increase the size of your PDF document. If you're trying to save just a flat PDF, you can uncheck this. Now you have some other settings here like compression of imagery, your output color conversion, security if you want to require a password. I've probably never done that, honestly, but I know that there's some instances where that makes sense. And then a summary of everything you've chosen here. Now, sometimes you want to change the preset. I like highest quality print, preferably. Sometimes, under the standard, the printer, if you're sending this to a printer, might ask for one of these. So you want to use what they need, basically. But most of the time, maybe it's just none. If you're just saving a PDF for someone, eh. Just keep it on none. Now, we've got preserved Photoshop editing capabilities, right? The cool thing about PDF, even if you're flattening it like this, it's going to keep the vector uh, files intact. So for instance, if we look down in my layers panel, I have this ellipse. That ellipse is a vector. So that guy's going to be scalable within a PDF because a PDF can hold vector elements. Same with this text right here. That is also a vector. So that's going to be scalable, one of the benefits of saving it as a PDF. However, opening that PDF up, I ne won't necessarily be able to, to edit these layers. So we're going to just save this PDF without preserving the editing capabilities, and we'll take a look at that. And then we'll save another one with preserving, and maybe we'll take a look at the difference between the two. So let's save another one. We'll call this name 2, and then we'll hit save. And we can hit OK. If you don't want to see this dialog box every time, just click on Don't Show Again. Now this one, we're going to preserve the editing capabilities. That's the only difference between these two PDFs. So we're going to save that PDF. And it might be incompatible with an earlier version of Photoshop. So you would have to open it as a generic PDF, not a Photoshop PDF. Yes, I will continue. OK, so we're going to exit out of this. And we're going to go to File open. And I'm going to open up, see if I can open up both of these by holding shift and clicking on both and clicking open. Now it might ask us to import this PDF when you're opening the PDF. Just check through here. I think everything is okay. If you have multiple pages in a PDF, you would have to select all the pages you want to open. Everything looks good here. This is the first one that did not have the layers. And then it opened the second one with the layers, and we didn't even have to decide how to import it. So we look back at the first one right here, and you can see everything's sort of been flattened down. And so we cannot edit this anymore. In fact, it's just pretty much a singular image now. But on the second one we did, we still have all of our layers. You see, we can edit everything here, and if you were or if you wanted to keep that editing capability in your PDF, then you need to make sure to save it with the layers involved. But when you get images and effects in there, it's going to substantially increase the size of your PDF. In this case, we just had some vector elements. We can go take a look in the open panel at the size difference. And you can already see right here, 257 for the first one and double that for the second one. So it's already double, even though it's just vector elements. So that's something to keep in mind. If you feel like your PDFs are way larger than they should be, 
it's probably because they have editing capabilities checkmarked in that save dialog box. That's how to save PDFs from Photoshop.